Greetings guys, it's your boy Blast from SHD and we're back to watch another Top 15. Today, Top 15 Scariest Things Kids Have Ever Said. Hopefully this is not that bad given we just got done watching Sad Satan never again. The link to the original video is down in the description as always. Lego. Number 15. I wake up to find my three-year-old standing by the bed staring at me, inches from me with a huge grin on his face. He just stares and grins. What are you doing, I finally say. Nothing. Still grinning. At this point, I realize he's got his hand behind his back. Are you holding something? No. I look away. He's hiding our largest carving knife behind his back. Number 14. What the fuck? What, what do you do to your kid after that? No. Adoption. Game over. No. Adoption. My three-year-old nephew was at my cottage. He asked me numerous times about the girl over there while pointing at one of the back bedrooms. The place is small and there is definitely no one there so I just dismiss it as a really active imagination. Then some friends are visiting and they have a daughter around the same age. She has never met my nephew. Twice in one day she asked about the pretty girl while pointing at the exact same room. Definitely caught me out and I didn't know what to think. Move. Then at Christmas, my family was over at my place and my nephew points at a picture of my wife and asks if she's coming to visit us here or does she just stay at the cottage. My wife died 10 years ago. Number 13. So a friend of mine was six years old when she told her mother that the lady who used to live here told me that she hates the wallpaper and that you're covering her note. My friend's mom just thought it was make-believe rambling and forgot about it. Well, 12 years later when the mom is redecorating and taking down the wallpaper in the attic, she finds a suicide note scratched into the wall. The friend's mom freaks the fuck out and calls my friend and starts asking if she remembered anything more about the woman who spoke to her. My friend starts to recall the woman and starts to freak out saying she only remembered talking to her in the attic. Number 12. A friend of mine and her husband bought what is considered an old house around here, Western Canada, not many houses over 100 years old. They were renovating the basement one day while I was visiting. I was down there alone with their son, who was barely two at the time and could not speak in full sentences. He took my hand and led me over to a brick chimney-like thing with a rusty metal door on it. He looked up and said, that's where dead babies go. I was horrified. Firstly, because, like I said, the kid could barely talk, let alone say something like that. I doubt he even knew what dead meant. I'm positive that no one would have told him that, and there were no older kids around that would have said that as a joke. Still creeps me out to this day. Number 11. My brother grew up being terrified of water. I'm four years older than him and during the nightly battle for bath time when he was about three or four I asked him why he's so scared of water. Being a water baby as my mom put it, I just don't understand. He looked at me and I remembered this word for word. I was on a big unsinkable ship. We hit the biggest iceberg and then it was really busy and then I got really cold and wet. I went to a warm bright place and waited until my next family came. My mom heard it and decided bath time was over. The creepy thing is that my brother was born on April 15th, 1992. The Titanic sunk April 15th, 1912. Number 10. When I was about 4, I would remember talking to Mr. Peterson whenever I was at my grandmother's house. He looked like a hobo from the Great Depression and had a guitar and sang the old timey blues. He told me that he died when he fell off a train he was riding while drunk on moonshine. I stopped seeing him when I was about six. Anyway, six months ago I found my dad's old acoustic guitar and started playing and my little cousin told me, Mr. Peterson is proud of you and then left. I don't know what to think. Number 9. While changing my daughter in front of the open closet door, she kept looking around me and laughing. I asked her what was so funny. She said, the man. To which I replied, what man? She then pointed at the closet and said, 
the man with the snake neck. I turned around and nothing was there. I'm afraid to look into the history of my house to see if anyone hung themselves in that closet. At least she wasn't scared. Number 8. My kid's Catholic school is over a hundred years old. There is a basement under the gym that's used for storage. I was subbing once and during recess one of the kickballs goes down the stairs. A little girl was standing at the top of the stairs yelling just throw it up to me. I went over and asked who she was talking to and she replied that big man down the stairs. I went down and nobody was there and it was the only way in. I asked some of the other kids if they have seen the man before and they said yes but sister told us not to talk to him. I asked him to describe sister and they described a nun and there haven't been nuns at the school in 40 years. Number 7. When my son was little, maybe 3, he used to do this weird crawl where he would slide his forehead along the floor. That was pretty creepy in itself. Then one night, he crawled across the hallway into my room like that and stood up a few inches from my face and made a weird meow sound. He got into bed with me and went to sleep. Another time, he was freaking out about a monster in the basement, so we went down and saw nothing of course. As I turned out the light and headed upstairs, he said, he's behind us now. I might have peed a little. Possibly the creepiest thing he did was one day, I scolded him for misbehaving, so he hid his head under his blanket. I pretended I couldn't find him by saying, where is my little Carson? He slowly lowered the blanket and with a dead evil stare said, Carson is gone. I am Rick. I'm certain he's possessed. We never knew any Ricks as far as I can remember. Still don't. Never figured out where he picked up that name. Number 6. Okay, backstory time. When I was a kid, Mr. Rand used to come into my room four or five times a week. He'd talk to me and tell me stuff and how he was killed in World War II. See, Mr. Rand was a figment of my four-year-old imagination. Anyway, one day, I was nine or so, Mr. Rand stopped showing up. Fast forward to about three years ago, and my son, who is five at the time, walks out of his room one night at about 11.30 and says there's a man in the room. Fast forward to about three years ago, and my son, who is about five at the time, walks out of his room one night at about 11.30 and says there's a man in his room. I flip out and run to his room to find nobody, to which he says, Mr. Rand says you can't see him anymore, but he's okay. Number 5. I'm not a parent myself, but a friend of mine has a four-year-old son who lives with his mother. One time, he would have been nearly four, Another of the mother's housemates had a litter of puppies and was in the process of trying to find homes for them. The kid put one of them in the front loader washing machine with some laundry and managed to set it on the spin cycle, then went back into his room across the laundry to play. My friend, the kid's dad, was visiting at the time and heard the machine going. He went to investigate, then saw the puppy and realized what had happened. He figured that the kid just didn't know what he was doing and quickly removed the dead puppy to spare his son being traumatized. The kid saw his dad walk past the doorway, went to check the washing machine, and then asked him, where is the dead puppy daddy? Number 4. My mom's dad died 10 years before I was born. I was about 6 or 7 when my parents divorced. The day before my mom told me they were divorcing, apparently I was at the kitchen table drawing or something while my mom cooked tea. She said I stopped instantly and looked toward the front door as if I'd heard something. I stared for a long time, then giggled, turned towards my mom and said, Granddad says don't worry, everything will be okay and he won't let anything bad happen. I then began humming and went back to my drawing. My mom says it's the single creepiest thing that's ever happened to her, and I have no memory of it happening. Number 3. When my daughter was 3, one day she said to me, Don't you remember mommy? Before, when you were the daughter and I was the mother, they came and chopped all our heads off. Chop, 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 chop. The whole village. 
She made vicious chopping motions every time she said the word chop. I was so taken aback, all I could think to say was, Fortunately, sweetheart, I don't remember the head chopping. Her response was, Well, it happened, and I remember it really well. Number two, my daughter said to me that there is a woman who watches her watch movies in her room and sleeps on the ceiling above her bed when she sleeps. She also says that it does not like me and wants to eat my heart. My kid watches Elmo and fucking Dinosaur Train. Where in the hell did she get this from? Number one, when I was young, like maybe two years old, my grandma was in the hospital dying of cancer. Obviously, I had no idea what was going on, but apparently one day my mother and aunt were watching me. I suddenly looked at them and said, only one grandma, they kept trying to convince me otherwise that no, I had two grandmas, but I kept repeating that line over and over. Then the phone rang. It was my uncle calling to tell my mother that my grandma had passed a few minutes ago. Well, this was not the best video for us to watch after playing Sad Satan today. Um, I think I've ruined myself for the rest of the day. I'm, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do any more reactions today. <laughs> video scary as all of them fuck, but extremely well done. If you guys want to go watch that video, click the link down below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> and twisms. Make sure to check out my prank channel. I'm uploading two brand new pranks every single week, as this one you see on the left. Click the annotation if you want to watch that, or look in the description, where I'll leave a link for the people who are on phones. And as always, Blasphemous HD, out!